can you imagine a world without internet how would it be can we really survive without internet in this century a new study has warned that a solar superstorm which occurs once in about a century could plunge the world into an internet apocalypse keeping large swaths of the society offline for weeks or even months hello and welcome to its tomorrow news and this is hena talati the sun constantly bombards the earth with electromagnetic particles these particles that makes the solar wind are usually sent to the poles by the earth's magnetic shield that protects the planet from any real damage around every 100 years this solar wind transforms into full blown solar storm as per the researchers that could have serious consequences for modern life The study titled Solar Superstorms Planning for an Internet Apocalypse was presented by the SICCOM 2021 Data Communication Conference. Its author from the University of California writes that the modern technological advancement coincided with the period of weak solar activity and the sun is expected to become more active in the near future. Scientists estimate the probability of extreme space weather directly impacting the earth to be between 1.6 and 12% in the next decades. According to the research, regional internet infrastructure would face a low risk of damage even in the massive solar storm since optical fiber itself isn't affected by the geomagnetically induced currents but the risk is higher for long undersea cables if a solar storm disrupts a number of these cables it could cause a connectivity outage among the countries even while leaving local infrastructure intact For a severe solar storm the earth will have roughly a 13 hour period to prepare the author added only two such storms have been recorded in recent history in 1859 and in 1921 the universe is the equilibrium between the order and chaos the life that exists in it is surrounded by the phenomena and events that could disrupt the flow of survival to a great extent A solar storm is one such phenomenon that poses a grave threat to the people living on the earth. Solar storm consists of powerful eruptions of the mass and energy from the sun. The eruptions appear from the burning ball of the gas as flares, sunspots and coronal mass ejections. However, solar storm is a rare occurrence and can be considered as a black swan event. Such an event occurred in 1859 called Carrington event which led to a major disruption in electrical infrastructure and then again in 1921 which was comparatively a milder solar storm. But researchers believe that this black swan event can again occur in a decade with the ejection of highly magnetized particles from the sun towards the earth the magnetic fields in the earth can go highly erratic and induce powerful electric currents these currents have the capability to destroy long distance internet cables laid under the sea that acts as a backbone of the internet being used across the world the storm could also affect the communication satellite leading to a catastrophic turn of events since the entire world today depends on the internet According to the study the least affected continent will be Asia since it gets its internet from Singapore as the hub It is estimated that in solar storm event a day in United States without the internet can cost up to 7 billion dollars per day The world is still struggling with the black swan event of 2020 and now this study has left doors ajar for the another black swan event. What are the solar flares? According to NASA, a solar flare is an intense burst of radiation that comes from the release of the magnetic energy linked with the sunspots. These are regarded as some of the largest explosive events of our solar system.
Flares are essentially giant bursts of X-rays and energy that travel at the speed of light across all directions in the solar system. They are often seen as the flashes of light on the sun. The flare releases photons at almost every wavelength of the spectrum. The flares take around 8 minutes to reach the Earth. They are essentially monitored through X-rays and optical lights. They are also the sites that see the acceleration of the electrons, protons and other heavier particles. Solar flares impact Earth only if they occur on the side of the Sun facing the Earth. Since flares comprise photons, they travel out of the area where the flare took place. Thus, if we are able to see the origin of the flare, it will impact us. What is the coronal mass ejection? Coronal mass ejections or CMEs are massive clouds of particles that are pushed out into the space from the sun's atmosphere. Basically, the outer solar atmosphere, also known as the corona, is made up of strong magnetic fields. In places where these fields are closed, usually over sunspots groups, the solar atmosphere can spontaneously release bubbles of gas and magnetic fields, which are called coronal mass ejections. A massive CME can consist of billion tons of matter and can be accelerated to several million miles per hour in the breathtaking explosion. The explosions impact any planet or spacecraft in its path. These particles often take around two to three days to get to the Earth, but only when the cloud was aimed at Earth during the explosion. It gives us immense gratification to announce that Netherlands has organized an international webinar on 21st September to commemorate Zero Emissions Day. Let us all join this event to learn from our dignitaries from across the world to put the cap on our emissions to mitigate climate change. Get yourself registered for the event. The link is in the description below. Can't wait to see you all there. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Hena Talati. For more weather updates like this, and please subscribe our channel.